Hi everyone and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. Today this video is a kind of experimental. The idea is to explain you how you can create a process report with the MySQL uh, Matomo database and explain why is it a complex uh, process. So uh, first of all, why would you be interested in directly using the MySQL database of Matomo rather than using the Matomo UI or Matomo API instead? So the pros are the following one. Uh, it will help you to learn a little bit um, to play with uh, SQL and as well to understand the Matomo's database. It allows you to create some combination which does not exist by default in Matomo. For example, like uh, getting on the same report several uh, dimensions next to one another. It avoids paying you uh, for some premium feature because as you are paying, as you are uh, playing straight away with all the data of the database, you can create whatever you want. It's just that it's very complex and it's uh, easy to integrate with other software so basically the idea of creating this video was mainly in order to get some data feed from the database in order to use it with data visualization software and the cons of playing with the mysql database is that it's very complex okay there are great chances to make some mistakes and to have some errors out of the data that you will get and that's probably what we are going to go through uh, today you need to secure the database because if you give the access to the database to someone who has some right access for example there are high chances that actually it may break your own metamo and as well when you query the database it has some consequences of uh, the data collection of metamo and of course the display of uh, the report so that's why you need to add an extra layer of security where you copy the database and that you are only creating the copied database and not the uh, online let's say uh, database of metamo uh, the result will not be displayed within the Matomos database. You will play with MySQL instead. In my case, I'm going to play with PHP MyAdmin. Um, and then um, you need to double check your data within Matomo all the time in order to be sure that those data are exactly the one that you wanted. You need to recreate everything, okay? So it is complex because uh, you sometimes not just need to query one a table but several table and make relations between them and there is currently no ER diagram so far within the documentation so what is a ER diagram this is an ER diagram this is the one of Moodle for example explaining you what are the relationship with each database in order to get uh, the right data and this is something which is not uh, currently available in Matomo but the sources which help me uh, create this video, uh, you have these great uh, resources, which is explaining how you can integrate the MySQL database of Matomo with a third party uh, data visualization software. This official database uh, doc documentation from Matomo, which is explaining you what are uh, the different uh, table and what they are doing and as well you have the ER diagram uh, documentation of Moodle if you would like to try to create your own ER diagram from uh, Matmove. Just as a conclusion for this video the method I'm going to show you is good for hackers only that's definitely not something that marketers and communication people will go through even if uh, it's finally possible. So um, so here's the documentation I was talking about and um, in fact I inspired the video that I just show you thanks to this uh, documentation. The idea is to explain you how thanks to the database you can create a report which will show uh, the most popular pages. So for this you need to have an access to your uh, Matomo's database. So in my case I previously mentioned I'm using um, PHP MyAdmin because it gives um, a visualization of what I'm doing instead of playing with MySQL directly. So here I have my database and as you can see I have the whole uh, data within it and in fact the two tables I need to play with are the one which is the log, li uh, log link visit action and as well the log action. So if you look at the Matomo log action, if you just look at the structure, you will see that you don't have all the data you need in order to have a report showing you which page is the most popular for a given day. You have the ID action, the name, the hash type and URL prefix, but you have nothing dealing with the date. And um, so if you look at, if you browse, for example, the, the structure, you will see, for example, that here that the name 
is not even the name of the URL. Here it is, but here it's a title, here it's a URL, here it's a title again. And in fact, you know that you need already to filter this database. Here you have a hash, you don't know what it is. And here you have the type. So here basically what you need to do is look at the official uh, database documentation of Matomo, which is available here. And from here, you will know that there is a table which is named log action, which is describing each of those fields as it is. So here, you know, for example, that when the type equal one, it means that this is a page URL. So you know already that this given um, this given table has to be filtered by type in order to just get the list of the URL. But as I previously mentioned here, you don't have uh, the date. So in order to get the date, you need to look for another table. So this is where somehow you need to learn the table by heart or you need to have a uh, documentation like this, which are giving you the information required in order to know what is the key between the table that you need to associate in order uh, to have uh, the, the right uh, correspondence between the two tables. So in my case, if I go over here and I go for the log link uh, something, so it was the log link visit action, and I look at the structure, I will see that I have something which is named, I think it's ID action URL. And if I browse a little bit more this following database, I will see that I have the server time that I could play with in order to extract the date. And as well, I get the ID action URL. And if I look back at my previous table, I will see that I have something which uh, looks like an ID that I could make a relation with so it's a uh, log action if i look at here the data you see that i get the id action okay so uh, here the link that i will do between my two table is the id action and the id uh, action url and like this the, the two table will be able to speak with one another and then i will be able to create my uh, date filter and I will be as well able to um, let's say to get valuable information so now you need to create your uh, SQL statement which correspond to the data that you would like to extract so here is the condition that you would like to get uh, here this is why I will like PHP Miami is that you can test every single line for example if I go for go here you will see that it will extract all uh, the data that I want. If you would like, for example, to be a bit more specific, you can just say, okay, I just want to get uh, the name, for example. So I could just pick up here the name, put it over here, and uh, precise, oops, sorry for that, precise exactly uh, what I want with a where condition in order to say, okay, just the one where the type equal uh, equal to, for example, that's the kind of thing that I could, could do. So as you can see, it's filtering it up and uh, so on and so forth. So here, if I go for and the type, okay, and type, and after I need to do something like, it's like, and I think it's, uh, so we say it was too high, uh, probably. Okay, and then it's just gonna extract the, the URL as you can see. So of course you need somehow to learn that by heart. Um, and in order to do so, you have many documentation online explaining you how you need to structure your given statement. So um, by chance, I already made mine, which is over here. Just to let you know, I'm not a developer at all, right? I just guess all of that. I just went and looked for information. And um, yeah, this is one example. So here I'm going to say, OK, I want to select. And the information that I want to select is the log action name, which corresponds to the name of the action in Matomo that I'm filtering by, as I just previously show you, type number one, which corresponds just to the URL. Okay, so this is what I'm doing in my statement over here, which is unfortunately wrong, as I will show you uh, in some minutes. And um, here, what I'm doing is, okay, I want to get the list of the URL, but I would like as well to get the count of the URL. So every time that this URL is appearing, I want you to create another column, and this column will be the uh, the sum of the number of times this given URL appear, then I want you to extract the data from two tables, which is the log link visit action and the Matomo log action. So this is necessary because this is where uh, both data are located in, where Matomo log link visit action dot action URL equal blah, blah, blah. So here, this is what we call the joint. So 
that's the possibility to link one table with another thanks to a given ID that you identify, which is uh, making the two tables discussing with one another. Okay, so that's why we have here the ID action URL and the ID action. And after, after that, here I have my condition in order to filter my table. So here I want just the URL and I want as well the server time to equal the given date that I'm indicating uh, over here. And actually I need to be even more precise because I will need to specify as well that I want the site ID number one because I have many sites uh, on my website but I'm not precising it here uh, because I forgot and I don't want to do this example in real time, but normally my sentence here, it's, it's kept, uh, continuing with an end and so on and so forth. So just to let you know, this is your filter somehow. Then I'm explaining, okay, I want to group all the information by the URL. So this is what I'm gonna do. If not, I will have just one by one uh, line of each URL. And then I want them to be ordered by uh, this sounding order. And if I go for go over here, you will see that I will get the list of all the given uh, URL of my Matomo. So I get my process report with the number of times that it appears, so probably the page view. And then you need to double check, of course, this information with the one of your website. So in my case, it was uh, 2018 and uh, so that was the given date so if I go um, 2018 um, so it was in August August uh, and it's the 12th okay and if I go for pages pages you will see that the number so this is the example.org you see that the, the count is not yet correct okay the count is not yet good. Uh, the second one is Island Guide. And as you can see, Island Guide is just going at this given position. So my work, as you can see, is not like 100% correct yet. So probably within the filter that I included, I have some extra variable that I need to add or either to correct, or maybe the date that I pick up here is not really the one on which Matmo is processing the data and so on and so forth. So of course it requires more time in order to get the correct uh, SQL sentence in order to just extract the data which correspond to this, okay? So this is where uh, I'm saying that it's very complex because you need to understand the full database in order to really understand how Matomo is processing the data in order to filter them and make them available with those right metrics that you can see over here. And this is why using uh, MySQL is not uh, really recommended unless uh, you know very well the Matomo's database and as well how to structure your uh, SQL uh, query. And that's it uh, for the video of today. So I really hope that uh, you understood a little bit more uh, why the MySQL uh, database is interesting because you can straight away require some data and you can really uh, create some combination of um, reports that are not available by default in Matomo. In my case here, I could have added like three or maybe uh, five or even 10 different dimension. But on the other hand, it's very complex. As you can see, you need to know how to structure your query and you need to know the database by heart. So here, in order to practice a little bit, what I strongly advise you to do is really to deploy a Matomo on your local host and try to play with PHP MyAdmin or MySQL uh, directly in order to start to extract some data and see if you can, uh, let's say, learn a little bit more about the Matomo's database. Once more, thanks for watching, have a great day, and do not hesitate to share this video on social network and create your own. Thanks.